Elementary, my dear Watson. Hello, my name is Carly Stevens. I'm a teacher and author, and this is English Nerd. Today, I wanted to bring up some quotes from literature that are actually, they're, they're misquoted, they're misattributed, they're, they were never said by that individual, or it was said completely differently. This list is kind of funny in places, but also it highlights the importance of knowing context and actually having read the original work. If you're going to quote something in an analysis or a paper or what have you, if you just search for quotations by particular people, you can be bamboozled, you can bring up something that was never said by them at all. So here is a list of misattributed, not real literature quotations. Number one, I just gave you elementary, my dear Watson. We all know this is a Sherlock Holmes thing, right? Um, however, if you read through the entire Sherlock Holmes canon, which I have, you don't find those words said by Sherlock Holmes at any point. Um, from what I understand, that is a movie and TV adaptation um, development that has just been kind of lumped in with the lore of Sherlock Holmes. So in terms of the literature, it's not actually there. Number two, um, I literally did a Google search, the most famous literature quotations, and this was on the list, and I know it's not actually in the book. It's, there. Uh, there's some good in this world and it's worth fighting for. It's, it's Sam from uh, The Lord of the Rings. Now, I'm a little bit of a Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> okay, I'm saying that tongue in cheek. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. I have the Banner of Rohan and Gondor right there. That is a beautiful part of the movie, The Two Towers, when Samwise gives that whole speech, you know, there's there's some good in this world, Mr. Frodo, but it is never said in that way in Tolkien's book. Um, the ideas are there, yes, different variations of it kind of crop up, but those actual words not in the story. Um, so the next one is a quotation that actually does exist in literature, but it's usually attached to the wrong work. It's when um, people use the phrase, the face that launched a thousand ships to describe Helen of Troy. Um, I guess she's only of Troy after she's taken away by Paris. But in any case, you know, Helen, the most beautiful woman in the Greek world in uh, in the story of the Iliad. Now, often you'll hear people refer to that phrase, the face that launched a thousand ships, in reference to Homer's Iliad. However, it never shows up in Homer's Iliad. The, the uh, original location of that quotation is in Christopher Marlowe's Dr. Faustus, which is about a uh, learned man who sells his soul to the devil to um, get all this power for 24 years. And one of the things that he does with this power and this demon servant who um, accompanies him during that time is to have a sort of phantom version of Helen, the most beautiful woman on earth, um, come sort of as this this party trick, um, among other things, for himself. So it, yeah, that comes from Christopher Marlowe. Uh, there was another one I found. Oh gosh, this one just drives me nuts. I, I've seen this more than once and every time I'm like, okay, this is coming from somebody who doesn't know a thing about Shakespeare, hasn't read a, 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 a correct line and otherwise you'd hear, you'd see that this is not something that actually is Shakespearean. There are a couple of Shakespeare ones on this list. Uh, when I saw you, I fell in love and you smiled because you knew is the... The, um, you know, you, you see a beautiful picture of trees and maybe that quotation on the on the top in this kind of hipster, um, you know, beautiful frameable piece of art. Okay, lovely. That's a fine quotation. It's not Shakespeare. It's not found in Romeo and Juliet. It's not found in Much Do But Nothing. It's it's in none of the plays. And again, if you if you read Shakespeare, you start to get a sense of what actually is him and what isn't. You're not going to be right 100% of the time, just hearing a quotation out of context, but 
something like that just sounds so much more modern than the phrasing Shakespeare himself would use. So yeah, that's uh, that that's one that just kind of twists the knife in my Shakespeare loving heart. Um, next one is often given to Mark Twain. Uh, it says, a lie can travel halfway across the world while the truth is putting its shoes on. That sounds a lot like Mark Twain. That does have a certain Twaininess to it that the last one did not have for Shakespeare. Um, however, that is misattributed. Uh, I did a little bit of digging and I couldn't find the origin of that quotation. It's actually attributed to several different people, but most think that it was none of those and it's a slightly modified version from you know, some somebody else, but it's not a Mark Twain. Um, this one, as I was, some of these I knew off the top of my head. I did, I did a little research for some of the others. This one actually took me by surprise. I thought this one was um, a real quotation. It sounded plausible enough, but then uh, as I looked at a couple different sources, it turns out it's not. So this, this one was a little bit sad. This one I had um, quoted before and you know I'm stuffing that back in my mouth now but this is Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde's known for his quippy one-liners, his aphorisms, he has a whole list of aphorisms just by themselves which are quippy one-liners. So the one that is not Oscar Wilde is be yourself, everyone else is already taken. It's a cool line um, but I'm not sure where it originates. It is not a, uh, an Oscar Wilde. Okay, a few more Shakespeare's. There's one that is just grievous, um, and we'll, we'll do that one first. Uh, this one falls into that previous category of somebody said something in some, I don't know, Instagram poem and everybody thought it was Shakespeare. Love me or hate me, both are in my favor. And the quotation goes on to say, if you love me, I'll be in your heart. If you hate me, I'll be in your mind. Not Shakespeare. I don't know what it is. I don't know why people say it's Shakespeare. But again, make sure that you actually check your sources if you are um, quoting, especially if you're, if you're using something as evidence for a particular point. Or even if you're, you're just quoting it for for a speech or bringing it up in teaching or whatever, make sure you know actually where it comes from, and you know so you're so you're using it correctly. There are a lot of other Shakespearean lines that are only half remembered, but those didn't quite make the official list. Um, Hamlet, my favorite Shakespeare play, as anybody who's been around the channel knows, is often misquoted in very small ways. Like, alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well but it's I knew him ratio. So that's along the lines of misquoting Star Wars by saying, Luke, I am your father, when it's really no, I am your father. But I thought I'd bring it up anyway. Another one is, methinks the lady doth protest too much, the methinks should go at the end. Um, but those are, those are small potatoes compared to everything else on this list, which is a quotation that, that isn't in terms of the literature that it's regularly attributed to. So I hope you learned something from this list of literature quotations that aren't real. I know I learned at least that one Oscar Wilde one. The rest of them, um, the rest of them I pretty much knew, but you know, we all, we all learn something. We can all get better at, um, you know, really doing our due diligence, right? So do you know any other misattributed, misquoted, not real literature quotations that just still persist in the internet zeitgeist? Add them down below. I'd love to hear more of them and, uh, you know, learn more. Hopefully I haven't, I haven't uh, put forward any other non-real literature quotes, but you know, I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. All right, like this video if you like it. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button if you want more English nerd videos, and I'll see you next week. Bye.